What up, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Fence of Prince of SoundCloud, SoundClick, Reddit. It's your boy Tone 202 coming at you one more again with just my two cents. Just my two cents. Uh, on the Misha Tate Holly Holmes fight, um, let me say that for one, I did not view the whole fight. I did, I did not do the whole pay per view thing, view the whole fight. This is just my opinion. I mean, you can like it or not. It's just a, uh, you know, guy's opinion. I uh, Misha Tate, the um, 29 year old who had, for one, for one, let's, uh, let's look at Misha Tate. She has always been a contender. She's either been on top or she's been close to it. Uh, so, she it's it's not like she was an underdog who came out of nowhere and beat Holly Holmes with a chokehold. So let's just get that out the way right now because that isn't what happened. Holly Holmes and Holly Holmes took this fight because she did not want to wait for Ronda Rousey. So for anybody who's confused about why she didn't fight Ronda Rousey, it's because Ronda Rousey said she's not coming back until October. That's at the end of the year, people. Misha, uh, uh, Holly Holmes is like, I want to take a fight now. Like, I've been, like, when she trained for Ronda Rousey, the fight ended, uh, what, first, second round, knockout, uh, kick to the face, boom, bam, out of here. So, you know, it's not like she went five rounds in that fight. So she, she was like, I'm on top of the world. I'm the champion. Like, who else is out there? So she took the next best person, if you ask me. Who is Misha Tate? Now, during the fight, I don't have any videos of the fight because I don't want YouTube to copyright infringe me, so I just talk about it. But, uh, 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 and there is some footage out there for you guys to, you know, go online and, and check it out. But during the fight, uh, uh, Misha Tate talked about how Holly Holmes would keep uh, uh, using a push kick on her to keep her distance. See, Holly Holmes is brilliant. Uh, but nonetheless, her she's she's one dimensional. She's not a ground fighter, and Ronda Rousey and Misha Tate are both ground fighters. They both had the same game plan. Only thing about it was Misha Tate had the advantage because she saw what happened to Ronda Rousey, and she said me and my trainers saw what happened, and basically they planned around um, Holly Holmes' left hand. She hit Ronda with a left hand and then kicked her in the face. She dazed her and then knocked her out. And, you know, and then unfortunately, Ronda Rousey, Rousey was so damaged from it, she talked about killing herself on her way to the hospital, which, please don't do that. Please, nobody. The uh, uh, only reason why I bring that up is because everybody saw that on the Ella De DeGeneres show, and I really felt bad for Ronda then. And I'm hoping when she comes back, she's strong, Mentally, physically, and spiritually, so she will never have those thoughts again. Okay, so back to Misha Tate. Uh, so basically, the, you know you know what happens when you see somebody else or your opponent to be fight somebody else. You're like, okay, this is their bread and butter, and it works for them. How do I get around this? And that's basically what happened. And, and truthfully, if Ronda Rousey would have had more information on Holly Holmes, I believe she would have did the same thing Misha Tate did, only she wouldn't have done it in five rounds. She would have done it in probably one round. Uh, Rhonda kept trying to close on uh, Holly Holmes, and that was a dangerous thing to do. Misha Tate didn't keep trying to cl like run in there after her. She already knew she had a better strong game, a uh, 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 um, ground game, but she didn't run into those punches. Holly Holmes is a boxer. She is on top of the world as far as being a boxer. She will knock you clean out, and everybody uh, saw this. She knocked out the best fighter in the world with a left hook and then a kick to the face. Those kicks and punches are her bread and butter. She's an up fighter. She stands up, she gets it in, and she wins constantly. However, if you can take her to the ground and keep her there, see, like, some people you can take to the ground, but they're not going to stay there. Some people who are notorious for that is, uh, like the spider is notorious for that. He can get up when he wants to. Remember Chuck Liddell? Chuck Liddell was notorious for that. He had no ground game, but he can punch the hell out of you. But nonetheless, whenever you try to take him down, he's going to get back up. Or you're just not going to take him down. 
So this is what Holly Holmes, her game is. If I go down, I'm getting up quickly. And uh, Misha Tate had her in, uh, had her in the, the same choke twice. It's just that the second time it worked. So in the second round, she actually had her in that choke hold. And Holly Holmes was able to get out of it. Misha Tate also talked about how strong Holly Holmes is. This woman is not weak by any standard. Not, not by any standard. And I would love to see a rematch between those two, truthfully. I mean, yeah, I'd love to see Ronda Rousey come back and see if she can handle uh, the footwork and the up game because, let, let's face it, Ronda Rousey is not a boxer. Uh, not at all. Uh, she's just a very good takedown artist. However, she... She, she doesn't have any patience. She's so, see, Ronda Rousey was her own worst enemy because she was so used to winning in, in very little time. You know what I mean? She was not used to somebody who can strike like Holly Holmes. And she was her own worst enemy. It was just like, these fights are usually over by now. Like, why haven't I won this fight? I need to go do what I'm used to doing, win the fight, boom, you get knocked out, trying to use the same bread and butter, people figure you out. That's just the way it is. Uh, so, however, um, Misha Tate, like I said, she had patience. She waited for Holly Holmes to throw that left. And whenever Holly Holmes would throw that left, she was countering it. She was waiting for her to throw that left. Throw the left, throw the kick, throw the left, throw the kick, boom, counter it. Let's go to the ground. And it just happens in the fifth round. She actually said, she actually said in her head and in her corner, they was like, look, you got to do something. She's beating you by points. And this, that's when Misha Tate went into overdrive. She was like, I have to do something. I have to get this girl down because she's outscoring me. If it would have went to the scoreboard, she knew she would have lost. So when she got her in that chokehold, she said, I just held her as tight as I could. And she was not getting out of that chokehold. So I say big ups to Holly Holmes. I would love to see a rematch between either her or Ronda Rousey. Uh, and I actually will probably pay for it because these three fighters are showing the world how to counter strong offenses and defenses uh, 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 by these strong women who uh, are masters at their own game. Like, Ronda Rousey, I think she beat Misha Tate, and she beat her, and uh, it just didn't take her long to do it. Why? Because Ronda Rousey has the best ground game in the business. You see what I mean? So one is countering the other, and, you know, these three are just, they're the best there is right now. And like I said, I'd love to see a rematch between any one of them. Tell me about your thoughts, uh, what you guys think, and go ahead and chime in. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for listening. It's your boy Tone202.